Hi everyone, it's been a while since my last video. It's because uh, first of all, I had a son. Second of all, uh, I've been working on a project that has taken me much longer than I thought it would take me, but I have something exciting to show you today. So uh, let's get into it. This beast of wires and sensors and material is uh, what I've been working on for the last four months. Um, this over here is a, a miniature Tesla turbine invented by Paul Townley um, from the Nikola Tesla Research and Development Center. Uh, it is able, it, it, it is very precisely made and it's capable of reaching speeds of up to 300,000 RPM. It um, has at ultra high speed bearings in it and uh, is made very, very uh, well. Uh, then this uh, is the second stage, the, which is identical to this one, except I 3D printed it, so it's not as uh, as precise at all as this one is. Uh, the bearings are also less good, but it was just so I could um, have a setup with uh, an input stage and an output stage, uh, so that I could connect the two sensors up. Uh, because as you can see, what we have here is, uh, over here is an RPM sensor, and another one over here. Uh, it's in a casing that I 3D printed and it's also on a mount uh, connector here that I 3D printed out of carbon fiber. And uh, these sensors are actually industrial grade uh, pressure and temperature sensors. Uh, so they are all connected up to a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W and uh, that one is connected through HDMI to my monitor over here. And I'll show you what happens when I connect the power to it. Okay, what we see here is the sensor dashboard I've been working on. Uh, it's also running on the Raspberry Pi. As you see, you just have to connect the power and then it boots up right into this screen, which is displaying the two uh, pressure sensor readings and the two temperature sensor readings. Uh, it also uh, keeps track of the minimum and the maximum pressure, minimum, maximum temperature, also the difference between them. Um, on top of that, we have the RPM sensors. As you can see, nothing is showing yet but that changes when i spin the rotors let's see i'll just give it a hand spin you see it shows up there and it actually plots the graph as well and if i spin the other rotor another graph uh, is shown so um yeah we can track the rpms of two rotors at the same time we can measure the input and the output temperature and pressure, uh, which gives us very valuable uh, information to uh, diagnose uh, Tesla turbines and similar systems. And I open sourced all of this. So the code is on uh, GitHub for this. Uh, the, you can download the entire uh, Raspberry Pi image file onto an SD card and it will have all of this running uh, within a few minutes. Uh, the sensors and stuff are all described in a uh, document as well that's linked to on the, uh, through the GitHub page. So you know which sensors to get. And I might also make it available as a product uh, through my website, waveguide.blog. But uh, yeah, you can see it um, uh, offers you the ability to measure a two-stage turbine. But uh, let me connect a mouse to this Raspberry Pi. So now I have a mouse. Um, what you see over here is uh, the two, uh, the properties of the two turbine rotors. So you see the disc diameter, thickness, how many uh, discs are in there, etc. Well, all this can actually be configured over here in the top. So you see stage one, you can set the disc diameter, number of discs, even the material it's made out of. You can also disable the second stage if you have a Tesla turbine that has only a single stage. We close this 
you see now it only shows a single one over here and it also only shows a single RPM measurement and also here where it shows the kinetic energy centrifugal force it only shows uh, for a single rotor so um, yeah pretty handy uh, there's also uh, uh, an ability to connect a um, electronic valve to this system and if you press play it will open the valve if you press stop it will close the valve so then you can automate that uh, process as well of starting and stopping the sensor readings okay now we're looking at uh, FileZilla because uh, we're gonna FT use FTP to access the files on the Raspberry Pi uh, because uh, we just ran some sessions and uh, it stores those sessions as CSV files on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to connect and then go to the telemetry folder and to the sessions folder and there we see all the CSV files. So um, I'm just going to open one. As you see it has a RPM, 2 RPMs, temperature, um, pressure, differential as well and the time of each uh, reading. So everything is logged and you can analyze it later on in a spreadsheet. Finally, this is the GitHub page where all this software is open sourced. Um, it tells you exactly how to install it, which sensors you need. There's the bill of materials, uh, a link to the disk image. Uh, it shows you exactly how to connect the sensors to the uh, GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi and it has all kinds of other information on here. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. If you're working on a Tesla turbine, then uh, this uh, might uh, help you in your project. So thanks for your time and until the next video.